Hey y'all, this is Lenny with Solar Plan Solutions. And if you're a Virginia homeowner and you haven't heard of the current situation with SREX, uh, Solar Renewable Energy Credits, and the fact that they can actually help you pay for your system. Um, there's a rush going on right now. They're fairly new. Um, I recently sat down with my friend John Norton from Virginia, who uh, is an expert on the subject of SREX in Virginia and had a conversation about what they are. Just briefly, SREX are basically the, their credits that you get just for generating uh, renewable energy. So uh, the beautiful thing is when, you, when you're in Virginia currently, you get net metering from your uh, power company, which is a great way to offset your energy bill. But on top of that, you get credit just for creating the energy. You get a credit for that as well that you actually can be compensated for. So it's a phenomenal program. It's big in New Jersey and D.C. right now. You actually can put money in your pocket. So uh, especially want to reach out and talk to those people who maybe uh, perhaps you don't qualify for the solar uh, federal income tax credit. This can this it might be a way of offsetting that because it's actually a substantial amount currently based on today's market prices it's a substantial amount of income you could generate just by being a solar person solar customer um, so without further ado here's my conversation with john norton uh, so now virginia has entered into this arena and it's very very new um, still developing but john here <laughs> is uh, someone who's very, very knowledgeable about it. So um, John, why don't you introduce yourself real quick and then we can get started on Virginia Ashrex. Sure, thanks Lenny. I'm John Norton. I'm the founder and owner of RVA Home Solar. I've been a solar professional for about two years. Before that, I was in the home improvement market for about 20 years. And it's, uh, it's an interesting time now in the Virginia market because Ashrex or carbon credits have really just come into being uh, the end of last year. So, I mean, I, when I originally met John, it was, he had a question about, you know, the Carolinas. And then when I found out about Virginia SREX, of course, he was the first person I called and very knowledgeable about them and very helpful. Um, so, and, and just to kind of piggyback on your um, experience, when I'm out in the field knocking on doors or, or meeting with the customer and then going to their neighbors, I usually hit houses that have already gone solar first. I want to understand what their experience has been. Um, and so that's actually going to carry over to what their neighbors think. Because if you're thinking about going solar, you're probably going to go to your neighbor who's already gone solar. And the first question I ask of current solar customers is, have you registered for your SREX or your carbon credits yet? And I've asked that question probably 400 times. And 399 times I get the blank stare of what are you talking about? Right. And so I take a few minutes to explain to that customer how they are missing out on possibly a thousand dollars a year. Yeah. And you, you should see their eyes bug out when I tell them, you know, five hours of time, which is about the time it takes to register. You're going to put a thousand dollars in your pocket for probably the next 10 to 15 years. Now you're talking about it. That, and that's the thing about, that's why we're making this video is because we want to talk about it. We want homeowners to understand what they are and why it's important in Virginia right now to get, on this, get solar, get it from the right person, make sure that you're asking the right questions because you could end up uh, in a situation. There's actually, um, I'm not mentioning any names, but companies out there that will register for, basically but part of their contract is taking those credits from you, is it not? And if this market lasts for 15 years and you're getting, if, if the average size system is about nine kilowatts in Virginia, that means they're going to probably generate 11 or 12 credits per year. And at the current price of about $65, you know, you're talking $800 a year. Right. And if it's going to last for 15 years, you're talking 11, 12, $13,000. You know, be, being a, you know, solar plan solutions, my whole thing is being a solar planner rather than a salesperson. And my background is in finance and investment management. So I really, when I see SREX, I compare them. Is it fair the way I'm comparing them? to a stock essentially, or a bond. I mean, you're essentially selling them in an open market, correct? That is the absolute perfect example and perfect comparison. 
because it is market-based. It is based on supply and demand. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, uh, when you look at some of the, um, the brokers and consolidators and you go out on their website and you can click on the markets and there's about eight or 10 markets that are selling SREX right now. When you look at the Virginia market, the, the price that they're getting is somewhere between 60 and $70. So I usually use an average of $65. Uh, and so because it's uh, market driven supply and demand, essentially what these consolidators do is they'll have thousands, tens of thousands of residential customers, each one generating 10 or 12 credits per year. They're going to put those together typically in a quarterly auction. And what they'll do is they'll gather 100,000 of these credits and they'll go out to their industrial and their uh, utility customers who actually have a need, a, uh, a need that's driven by whatever law is in place in their in their state where they have to meet a certain percentage within their energy generation for portfolio of renewable energy. And yeah, when let's, let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Can we back up for a minute? Because we didn't really get into like, I mentioned what they were, but it, just in a little bit more detail. So on top, so you get net metering from your power company. This has nothing to do with your power company, correct? I mean, it's literally something that's, extra on top of that, that has nothing to do with your power company, correct? I'd say 98% it has nothing to do with your power company, meaning you're not being paid by your power company for this extra production in the, for the certificates. However, power companies are primary, the primary customers for these credits because the way that uh, uh, the, the uh, legal uh, landscape is going, and I'll give, I'll use Virginia as an example. Two years ago, Virginia passed a law called the Clean Economy Act. Essentially, that says that all the utilities within Virginia have to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. And in order to do that, Virginia has set up a benchmark every year of what percentage of renewable energy needs to be produced by these utilities. And if the utility doesn't meet that benchmark, they get penalized. Here in Virginia, that penalty is $75 per unit. And the unit is a megawatt or 1,000 kilowatt hours. That happens to be when you create a credit. So when you look at it from the a consumer standpoint of who's buying these, it's a very lucrative thing for those, those companies, particularly utilities. But then because you as a a uh, owner of a solar system and a creator of renewable energy, you benefit from that. Right. Yeah. And the, the, the cool part about that is that you're not doing anything different. It's just literally, literally a bonus that you're getting for, for having renewable energy. You set up a buy program with your broker, whether it's every month or when, whether it's whenever you create a, certificate or whether you want to do it every quarter. And once that is sold, three days later, you get money in your bank account. And <laughs> once it's set up, you just sit back. It's it's literally passive income. So just you could for, use just for being a just for being a producer. That's, that's right. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean that, and that's that's what what Virginia especially that's what Vir Virginians need to hear this. They need to understand that I mean this is actually potentially better than a federal tax credit, which a federal tax credit, you have to make money in, in order to have tax liability to be able to take the tax credit. This is for currently everybody who creates solar power. It can, okay. can cash in on these extracts. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's a great point, Lenny. I actually, when I run through the numbers with people, we all know about the 26% federal tax credit. And here in Virginia, the average size system is about uh, nine kilowatts. That's gonna generate 11 to 12,000 kilowatt hours, 11 to 12 uh, SRECs. When I do the numbers with them, in fact, I'm looking at one for a customer right now, his federal tax credit comes in at about $9,000, but 15 years worth of SRECs comes in at $11,000. The average SREC that it's going to generate somewhere between 50 and $65 a month. So right there, half of your bill is paid by this rebate or this credit that you're getting. 
just can you clarify that a little bit as far as you know are they guaranteed like what i know the the current market maybe talk about the current market versus are they guaranteed just clarify that why 15 years so what so what you're asking me to do is hey let's have some some disclosures here right uh i'm not a financial advisor i'm not giving you tax advice you know consult your tax professional so forth and so on however being a professional within the solar industry and seeing how, what the current landscape is these are it's not guaranteed however when you look at the law which i referenced the clean economy act and the length of time that the utilities within virginia have to get down to uh, carbon neutral it's over the course of 25 years or so. Yeah. So yes, there's, it's not a guarantee. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. It's market driven. It's all supply and demand. But for the foreseeable future, in my opinion, it's going to be a pretty lucrative thing for customers. Right. And it has been lucrative in New Jersey, for instance, for years and years. Correct. And oh, yeah, then New yeah. Washington, D.C. is an excellent example because they used to sell... They used to purchase SRX from everybody, and now they cut it off, and they only purchase from DC residents. Correct? Um, Several hundred dollars per SRX is what I have heard. Well, when you when you go out on some of the consolidators, and 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 one in particular that I use a bit, you can click on their website front page. You click on markets, and it tells you how much an SREC is going for in each of their markets. In fact, I'm going to click on it right now. And uh, looking at New Jersey, it's telling me, uh, where do we go? Right now in Virginia, the or sorry, in New Jersey, the bid price is going for about $235. That's for one SREC. Now, if I look at, if I look at some other markets, and I'll, I'll use uh, Maryland as an example, uh, I'm being told that Maryland is going at about at about $80. But DC is the, the example that you gave me. And when I look at the District of Columbia, what they call the bid price is at about $400. Wow. So another another thought on that, you know, I think being living in Virginia, part of the, the part of the draw or part of the reason you live in Virginia is because it's so beautiful, right? So oh, no, Virginia lovers and I'm a lover. Right. And, and, and the thing about, you know, solar farms. OK, um, I'm I like the idea of solar farms when they're feeding a community, you know, potentially feeding a specific community that can't doesn't have access to energy or doesn't have the ability to afford solar, maybe. But aside from that, I can't I'm not a big fan of our beautiful farmland and thing, you know, farmland that we're using to grow food or our beautiful landscapes being covered in solar panels. That, that's not something I'm a big fan of. And that could potentially happen. Am I not? Am I wrong? I mean, if, if homeowners aren't taking advantage of this opportunity, corporations will, right? True. Because with the Clean Economy Act, they have to close their fossil fuel plants. And they have to replace this with renewable energy. Your renewable energy sources are primarily solar and wind. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's also some things like biomass, which is essentially burning wood to create electricity. So these are all renewable energy sources. I just but felt a whole, at, bunch of, a whole bunch of Virginians cr cringe when you said burning wood. Well, and then there's also uh, geothermal and some other things. But the majority of it is solar and wind. And you have to replace it with renewable energy. And that means a solar farm. Right. Uh, now, I, I, I did a, a back of the envelope calculation a couple of, about a year ago and said, you know, what, how much land do we need for these solar farms to completely replace? Ooh, OK. Uh, uh, Dominion. Um, that should be interesting. Go ahead. OK. Well, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of uh, the Richmond, Virginia area, but we have essentially two counties that surround us. We have Chesterfield County to the south and Ryko County to the north. And if you just take a look at the land area that's necessary for these solar farms, you're talking about the size of Chesterfield County wow. and the city of Richmond combined. Wow. Somewhere within the state of Virginia. 
So we're talking hundreds, that would sacrifice a whole lot of trees. Oh yeah. Well, we're talking hundreds of solar farms that are going to be hundreds of acres each. Right. Wow. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of driving down the road as I did when I came to meet you. I drove down a uh, I think it was 140 or something. And there's a, actually it was a small size solar farm, but yeah. it went on for a good minute as yeah. I'm driving at 60 miles an hour. And that's a small all over the place in North Carolina. Yeah. So here in Virginia, if we can get more customers to understand the benefit of solar, right. if we can get more people to convert to solar, you, the demand and the need for all those solar farms is going to go down. Right. Yeah. That's, that's my point. If, if we can, Get, get more Virginia homeowners to understand the SREC concept and get them to understand, you know, the things that we talk about every day with customers and that you're replacing your bill with a solar, you know, financing solar. But here's these incentives that we're going to throw at this as well. And in the end, how much does, I mean, my, my answer to how much solar costs is substantially less than you're going to pay the power company now substantially less than your current situation. Okay, you're already locked into a mortgage forever with no end date with your power company. This allows you to at least take a percentage of what you're creating, not all of it usually, sometimes, but not, not usually, and take that power back, the control back from the power company, give it to yourself, and then you know have these S-Rags on top of the federal tax credit potentially, if you qualify, and have it drive down the cost as well, while at the same time, hopefully, if, if enough people do it, we're cutting down on the number of solar farms that are going to be created. I know that's a grand plan that I'm throwing out there, but the whole reason for making this video is to make consumers aware. It's what I'm all about. Solar plan solutions are about consumer advocacy and making sure that consumers are taken care of. So in order to take care of Virginia consumers, John and I work very close together. So you can contact either one of us if you're in Virginia and you want more information on going solar, please reach out to either one of us um, and we can help you with that. Let you, you know, we'll put together a plan for you based on your house. So thank you, John. I appreciate you coming today. And again, reach out to us if you have any questions down in the uh, description. I'll put all, both of our websites out there and make sure that you guys can get in touch with us. Um, we want to help. That's what we're here for. And we're planners. We're not salespeople. Uh, we don't work directly with an installer. Uh, we work for our customers. And okay, if you haven't noticed that by this video, you know, reach out to us. We'll show you that we work for you, not the installers.